Escorted to an American cruiser lying near the entrance to the Suez Canal, King Farouk of Egypt is first of three royal visitors to be piped aboard. Here he's received by President Roosevelt, accompanied by his daughter, Mrs. Anna Bettiger, en route from the Alta Conference. Prime Minister Churchill had already talked with the Mideastern rulers regarding situations concerning the victory and the coming peace. Egyptian and American flags fly above a scene that's all friendliness. This series of informal conferences clears many problems affecting diplomatic and economic relations. Next aboard the American warship is Haile Selassie, Emperor of Ethiopia. With his country free of the fascist yoke, he again takes his place among the world leaders. Relief for his people and rehabilitation of his country are questions of crowning importance to the Lion of Judah. One of the most colorful visits to the presidential cruiser was that of the ruler of Saudi Arabia, King Ibn Saud. Special arrangements for food and comfort were installed on the American destroyer, aboard which lived the king and his entourage. All the traditional splendor of the mysterious East is manifested in the costumes of the royal party. The 65-year-old monarch leaves his country for the first time to attend this meeting. Marine Colonel Eddy, American minister to Arabia, accompanies King Ibn Saud. From Washington to Suez is a long way, but understanding each other's problems brings East and West together for a better world. Music 